Hi, so I'm Pooja Prasad. Uh, I'm an assistant professor in the School of Public Policy at IIT Delhi. Well, I am very interested in working on understanding how sustainable and equitable irrigation is possible, especially given the great amount of uncertainty that we are facing. Uncertainty from climate, from markets, from collective, uh, you know, from the use of a common property resource uh, and so on. And so uh, protective irrigation is an important notion, right? We need a lot more research in understanding what is protective irrigation in unpacking it as opposed to say productive irrigation and especially so in rain-fed areas. So understanding better, for example, the impact on water productivity, uh, so which would then create incentives for more investments in the rain-fed regions and on protective irrigation. So there I think we do need more evidence and, and, and more research. The second thing I would say is that uh, a lot of um, information out there comes from anecdotes and from farm level, you know, samples. So there would be a lot of um, studies which would say, well, um, you know, farm level interventions have been made and, and, and such and such farmer has benefited or these particular farmer groups have benefited. But what we also need is cross-scale studies, right? So what works at farm scale may not necessarily or may have different impacts at, say, landscape level and certainly at the resource scale, especially when we're talking about common pool resources. So I think there, using system lens, looking at how these cross-scale effects work. Uh, for example, um, I work on questions of um, uh, water storage at farm level, right, which may be seen and understood as something which, which works well at farm level. But what happens when you have too many of them at landscape level? Does it still you know, uh, help with protective irrigation or does it enhance vulnerability? So those are, I think, some questions where we need uh, more research uh, to bring in those cross-scale effects. And finally, I think um, what I also said about uncertainty, I think also understanding what are some different models of protective irrigation that could work keeping in mind that there's high variability, right? There's high variability in, um, in terms of biophysical aspects, different soils, different um, terrains, different crops that are uh, being grown, uh, different um, rainfall patterns uh, that we continue to see. So any solution in, in the irrigation space, I think needs to bring in uh, the ability to adapt and to stay flexible instead of locking us in, into specific irrigation uh, methods you know, be it protective or productive irrigation. So how do we bring in uh, these different models which can be adaptive, which allows farmers to, uh, to adapt their practices to, uh, to a changing reality? So I think those are some uh, priority areas for me to look at uh, the research gaps. Yeah.